Hey guys, Kelly Fab here, and today I'm going to be doing my update for my 8 by Easter project pan collab. I will leave the two other lovely ladies linked down below and their intro videos, as well as their updates if they update at the same time as me, and I cannot wait to see their progress because I'm sure that they are going to do fantastic. But I wanted to start with the fact that I've been weighing my products to see what kind of progress I am getting. And yeah, I just want to jump right into it. I'm really excited about my progress. And some of them I'm not so excited about anymore. So let's just get right into it. So the first product I have is in the category Bunny. And I explained all my reasonings why I chose all of these items in the intro video so I will link that down below as well if you are curious but I have the Wim Nail Lacquer in the shade Marshmallow Mousse. It's Mousse, not Muse. I said Muse in my intro. It's Mousse. Marshmallow Mousse, and it is just a white nail polish. I plan on painting my nails today, but I was giving them a couple days break from the last time that I took my polish off, so I haven't painted them yet. But at first, this started at 57 grams, and now it is at 53 grams. And I have used it twice, and I plan on, like I said, painting my nails today as well. So hopefully it'll go down even more from that. The next product category is pastel, and I chose the two samples that I had of the Becca First Light Priming Filter. I love this primer. This is going to be a holy grail for me. I can already tell. I've almost finished one of these bottles. I love this primer. I'm going to have to purchase it once I'm out of these two little samples. But in my intro video, I weighed these together at 20 grams, and now they are weighing in at 17 grams, and I have used this primer seven times. So that's a lot of usage for a very little amount of product. So I'm really, really happy about that. So I will continue to use and enjoy and love those primers. The next category I have is Easter Basket, and for that category I chose the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Hydrating Tint in the shade Nude 40. And this I have used three times. I don't typically wear liquid foundation, you guys know that, but it went from 88 grams down to 85 grams. So I feel like that's pretty good progress. I mean, I feel like I definitely could have used this a couple more times, but I just don't enjoy using liquid foundation. I just don't. So. I'm going to try to use this up and then I would repurchase this one, but not anytime soon. I don't, I'm trying to stay away from liquid foundations lately, so we'll see. The next category I have is chocolate and originally in my intro video, I chose the Makeup Geek Blush in Infatuation. It is the blush I have right here. It weighed in at 11 grams. I used it five times and it still weighs in at 11 grams. I'm just not enjoying using this blush. I'm actually going to declutter this blush. It's just, it looks okay, but it's, I'm forcing myself to reach for it. And then when I wear it, I don't love it as much as I want to. It is one of my very, very few or yeah, one of my very few makeup geek items, but I feel like somebody else will enjoy this a lot more than I am. And I would rather pass it on while it's still pretty much brand new. Like I said, I've only used it five times, so that's the amount of use I've gotten out of it. It's brand new, and I just, I don't want to force myself to use something that I'm not loving. So I have enough blushes in my collection that I can use something that I enjoy. So I am going to declutter that one. But in its place, I'm actually going to put a different product so that I still have a product for the chocolate category. So I chose the Maybelline Great Lash Mascara in the shade Brownish Black because I like dark chocolate and I feel like dark chocolate is more of like a brownish black type of color. I know. Anyways, I love wearing this color on my no makeup makeup days and days where I just want a little bit extra on my eyes But I don't want to look like I'm wearing makeup and I love the brownish black color for that It works perfectly especially with my hair tone So I added this in and this weighs in right now at 26 grams by the end of this project I will be decluttering this because it's starting to get old so I plan on trying to finish it up before it goes bad but I'm gonna throw it away at the end of the project anyways, so I wanna get as much use out of this as I possibly can. So then I have the category Jelly Bean, and you guys all know that I chose my Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer in Ticket to Brazil. I've worn this so many times. Like, literally, I have worn this so many times, and you can't see any visible progress at all. What the heck? 
Like, I just, I don't know. You just can't see any progress. Like, you can see the sun still. Like, I don't understand how you can still see that, but you're starting to see the rings where the pan is starting to show through, which I'm really, really happy about that. But man, I feel like I've worn this so many times. And the original weight on this was 71 grams, and it is still 71 grams. The heck? Darn it! Anyways, I really want to see this go down in grams because I've been using it so much. I literally use it every day on my neck, especially on my neck, and then to bronze up my face. I didn't use it today. I used something different, but every single day I've been using this, and it won't go down. This is like the never-ending bronzer. The heck? I did not write down how many times I used this. I forgot, this is the only product that I forgot to write down my number of uses. So I will make sure I do that for the next check-in. The next product category I have is flower. And you guys know that I thought of a sunflower when I chose this category. So I chose some colors from my Urban Decay 20 Vice, Re Vice Limited Reloaded palette. And I chose this color here, Gold Mind and or gold mine gold mine here the yellow one because it reminded me of a sunflower shade and i've only used it once to be completely honest i'm not really enjoying it and i don't know but i love and i mean i love some of the other colors actually opening up this palette and being forced to use it because i'm trying to use this yellow one and this green one here in this project has made me love using some of the other colors. So I'm really happy about that. I'm gonna try to still get some more usage on this yellow one, but I'm not gonna force myself to use it. And then for spring, I chose the green color here in Mildew. And I've used this one so many times. I mean, I'm loving using this green color. It looks so good on me. I only marked down three times, but I know for a fact I used it at least six or seven times. I just forgot to mark down that many times. But yeah, I'm really enjoying that color. And like I said, I'm really getting a lot of use out of some of these other colors in here because I'm being forced to open up this palette and actually look at it. So I am appreciating this project for actually being able to use this palette. My very last category I have is Easter Egg. And for Easter Egg, I chose the ColourPop Lippy Stick in the shade Cami, and it is a matte X formula. I love it. And here is where we are right now. I don't think I have a shot of where we were in the beginning, but there is where we are now. And I love using this color. I have no issues using this. I'm enjoying it. It's, it's great. I have no issues with this. But the weight has not gone down on this at all. And I marked down at least three times that I used. And when I mean using it, I mean using it for the day. So that also includes reapplying it. So I started with 11 grams in here and it is still at 11 grams, but I've used it at least three times for the entire day. So I feel like that's a lot of good usage out of this and I'm very happy about it. So that is my update for my 8 by Easter Project Pan collab. I hope you guys enjoyed some of the progress. I hope it's okay that I switched out one of the products because I'm not gonna use that other one, so I might as well use up something that I know I'm gonna use. And I hope you have a wonderful day or night wherever you are, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. So then I have the shade. So then I have the cut. Nope. Ah, Tater's up to ready. Are they ready? Yes. The bell already rang like 15 minutes ago.